Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to do a Snapchat-like menu with Swift and Xcode. So let's get started. All right, so first thing we need to do is head over to our Xcode project, create a new Xcode project, and this will be a single view application. Click next. And our product name, I'm just going to set this equal to menu, although you can really call this whatever you want. Our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to universal. Now this is a universal concept if you do it properly. So this will work on all devices as long as you set things up properly. Click next and create create. Now let's make this a bit bigger. And first thing we're going to do is head over to our main.storyboard. And we just want to add a scroll view onto our scene. So just go right down here and we want to click and drag a scroll view. So click and drag that onto our view controller like so. And then we want to set up constraints. So we're going to right click or control click and drag from our UI scroll view over to our view in our hierarchy right over there. And we want to hold shift and say center horizontally, center vertically, equal widths and equal heights. Click enter and that'll set up all the constraints for this UI scroll view. That's all you need. Now let's go ahead and create the views that we're going to put inside of this UI scroll view. So let's go up here, we're going to say file, new file. And under iOS source, you will see Coco Touch class right there. So click next, and this will be the class of a view controller and the subclass of a UI view controller. Now this concept does work with the UI table view controllers and UI collection view controllers. But to keep things simple, I'm just gonna use a UI view controller. Now I'll say also create nip file, and then our devices will be set to iPhone, although this does not mean that it's only going to be for iPhone. We are basically going to set it to the size of our UI scroll view, so this doesn't really matter. Our language will be set to Swift, and then click next and create. And also make sure the name of it is not viewcontroller.swift, or you might replace your old file. So we're gonna say the class name is equal to view one, sorry. Click next and create. So now as you can see, we have our view1.swift and our view1.nib file. Now this nib file essentially is just like a view, a UI view that we can edit with a view1.swift. So you can think of this as like a view controller inside of here, but we're going to actually take that view that we created and put that inside of a view controller. Now there is a way that you can just use the storyboard itself, but that is a longer process and this nib file way is a lot easier. Now inside of our nib file right here, I'm going to just change the background color of this to just some random color. And this will just allow us to see that we have added this view onto our viewcontroller.swift. So let's head right over to our viewcontroller.swift. Now, first thing we're actually going to do inside of this viewcontroller.swift is head right over to our main.storyboard, even though that sounded contradictory. Let's open up our assistant editor and we want to right click or control click and drag from our UI scroll view right here and add that into our viewcontroller.swift. Now, this will be an outlet, so now we can actually add things onto this UI scroll view from our viewcontroller.swift. The name of the scroll view, I'm just gonna give it the name scroll view, although this is not a recommended name as it gets confusing. Click next and create. Now inside of the view to load here, we wanna create our first view. So I'm gonna say var v1, make sure it's not the same as view one in our view one dots. This is just a quick get around to naming your v1 view one will be equal to view one and then open parentheses and as you can see there's nothing that actually goes inside of this ui view controller but there is something that we're supposed to put in there so you can just type in ui view controller open parentheses and this is what we're wanting we want the nib name and the bundle so the nib name is going to be open quotation mark close quotation mark and this will be view one and the bundle will be equal to nil now this is going to give me an error because it's saying that view one is not equal to our ui view controller so we need to just replace this ui view controller with view one now down here we actually want to add this first view into our view controller itself we're going to say self dot add child view controller and this will be our v1 like so so this is just going to add our v1 into the hierarchy of our view right here. So now we can access this and put it inside of our scroll view. So we can say self dot scroll view dot add sub view like so. And this will be our v1 dot view. So we're adding this view into our scroll view. And then we just need to say v1 dot did move to parent view controller. And we're gonna say self inside of that. So it's so we're just saying it moved to the parent view controller, so everything's good. Now if we were to build and run this right now, we should actually see our view onto our scene right now. So as you can see, our scroll was loaded on here, but as you can see, I can't scroll between another view. So let's go ahead, create a new view. So I'm gonna say file, new, file, and this will be a Cocoa Touch class, click next, and again, their class will be equal to our view 
2 this time. A subclass of a UI view controller. Also create zip nib file right there for iPhone, language, Swift, click next, create. And right now there is our second view. So let's click on view2.nib right now and click on that and we're gonna just change the background color of this to be a different color, like so. Now let's add this onto our scene. So let's head over to our view controller at Swift and right in here we wanna create our view. So we're gonna say var v2 colon and then this will be view2 will be equal to a UI view controller open parentheses nib name open quotation mark close quotation mark view to bundle nil and then replace UI view controller with view and now we're pretty much going to do the same thing with our view 2 as we did down here with our view 1 so we're going to copy and paste that and replace anything that has v1 with view v2 and now if we were to actually build and run this our v2 would actually be on the scene but it, we need to actually scroll over to it. So first thing we need to do is actually set the frame of our view. So we're gonna say var v2 frame colon cg rect will be equal to, and this is going to be equal to our, our v2 dot view dot frame. And then down here, we wanna change the X origin, meaning we want to make it off the screen to the right. So we're gonna say v2 frame dot origin dot X will be equal to self dot view dot frame dot width. So we're gonna make it equal to right off the side of our scene. And then we're actually going to add this onto our view itself. So we're gonna say v2 dot view dot frame will be equal to, and this is going to be equal to our v2 frame like so. So now if we were to build and run this right now, the V2 frame would be off to the right, but we cannot scroll over to it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go down here and say self.scrollView.content size will be equal to, and this is going to be a CG size make. And the width of this will be equal to our self.view.frame.width. And right now we only have two views, so we're gonna say times two. And the height of this will be our self.view.frame.size.height, like so. Now if we were to build and run this. Now for some reason it was showing up as a white color, so I went back to my view2.nib and I've just changed the background color to something else. And that seemed to fix it, so let's build and run this again and we should be able to see our views. So as you can see, I have my, to the right, I have this view, to the left, I have this view. But right now, as you can see, it's just like a normal scroll. We don't want that. So let's head back over to our project, go to our main.storyboard, click on our UI scroll view right here, and in the attributes inspector right up here, here in the top right corner, we wanna say paging enabled. Now build and run this now. And as you can see, we'll get that more fluid look to it that it's just going to stop as soon as it gets to its position. Now, of course, if you wanted to add a third view, let's go up here, File, New, File, and this will be a Cocoa Touch class, click Next, and this will be our view three. I have a subclass of a UI view controller, also create nib file, iPhone, Swift, click Next, Create. And now we have our view three, so we, let's click on our view three, go over here to the background color, change it up to something else, like so, and let's head over to our view controller.swift, and we need to create this view, so we're gonna say var v3 colon, this will be view three, will be equal to UI view controller, open parentheses, nib name, and then open quotation mark, close quotation mark, this will be view three, like so, bundle nil. And then we can switch out UI view controller with view three, like so. Now let's go down here, and we're gonna take these three sections again, copy, paste, like so change all the V2s for V3s. We're also gonna copy and paste these three statements right here, copy and paste those. We're gonna change this to V3 frame, V3 frame, V3 frame, and V3 frame. And then right down here, we're gonna say V3.view.frame will be equal to our V3 frame right there. And then down here in our self.scroll.view.content size, we can say self.view.frame.width times Three. Now, that basically you just multiply it by how many views you have. Now, if we were to build and run this, and also right up here in our v3frame.origin.x, we want to say two times our self.view.frame.width. Now, let's build and run. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thanks again, and I will see you in the next one.